it's bedtime now and I can't really even explain the level of fear involved in going to bed here. Um, there's so much fear revolving around sleep. For, um, legitimate fear and trauma. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've woken up and I haven't been breathing here. I was in, when in acute benzo withdrawal, I was left in that condition because the doctors didn't believe me. I was left in that condition for seven months until I even got into the sleep lab for an appointment. They knew I was begging and screaming for help and I was dismissed and I was patient profiled and the, none of the doctors believed me and I was stopping breathing 54 times an hour, suicidal, begging and screaming for help. And I was here by myself, hysterical, stopping breathing, waking up all the time in my bed and my chest wasn't breathing or I, I was waking up and not breathing not waking up and gasping for air, but waking up and not breathing. So there's so much trauma around what happened to me here. But I've got CPAP now. After a year, 13 months, I finally got a CPAP machine. And um, the CPAP has not helped my insomnia, not even one minute. It has, it has not increased my sleep, not even by a minute. And I was refused follow-up CPAP care and refused respirology care until recently. Because some doctor got into a snit about me, patient profiled me, etc. I won't get into it. Um, and I was refused care by everyone because of him. And, oh, you might say, oh, they can't do that. Yes, they, they can play games and they can triangulate and they can do, you know, all sorts of things. Is it legal? Well, you can make it look legal and just say, I did what I could and blah, blah, blah. You just, you, you bullshit your way through it. So can you harm people that way? Sure you can. Can you make it look like you did your best? Sure you can. It's just all, you know, you can... Is it fair? Absolutely not. Can, can it be done? Of course it can be done. Um, people lie, they play games, they twist things around. And uh, can people expire? Because of things like this? Absolutely. Because of other people? Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. There's horrendous trauma around sleep here. So I got the CPAP. Um, still waking with low oxygen. There's still something wrong with my breathing. Things have gotten even worse and escalated here a few times into just horror situations like... Um, you know, I went through severe zopaclone withdrawal and lorazepam withdrawal after the clonazepam, and I was stopping breathing here, sitting upright, awake. My throat was closing up, like even with the CPAP machine on, sitting awake. Um... I, it escalated into I would I would roll over night and roll over in bed or this was even happening happening at awake awake my diaphragm was freezing up or paralyzing or partial paralysis of the diaphragm and I would stop me breathing even awake on and off you know at night time while sleeping attempting to sleep upright. Just terror beyond terror. That was happening in bed for months, rolling over in bed. And 
I think something is happening and it was happening in the neck. The phrenic nerve maybe was being compressed and I would literally roll over and just stop breathing, just silently, quietly stop breathing and the breaths were not coming. Um, and I'd roll over again and the breathing would start. Just horror and trauma. And, uh, and no, you can't run to the ER. They don't have neurosurgeons in the ER. Just because you go to the ER, the, the um, ER doctor is not necessarily going to call a neurosurgeon for you. Not if you've been patient profiled in the ER the previous time. Not if you've been in the ER, let's say, three times in the last year because of acute benzo withdrawal. They see that in all their notes and records, and then all of a sudden they're going to be calling a neurosurgeon in the ER for you at four in the morning because all of a sudden now they believe you. Extremely unlikely for that to happen, even if they know you have Chiari. And we don't have Chiari neurosurgeon specialists here. We don't. So... If you say you're laying in bed and you've got stuff going on in your neck and you're stopping breathing, the chances of you be being believed here in Canada with no specialists able to deal with that are, are virtually nil. And I'm having such extreme pain, like spine and neck and chest. And I have yet to, to sit down with a neurosurgeon to, or any kind of surgeon to who's looked at these issues and we've had a discussion that just hasn't even happened yet and it's i don't think it's it's going to happen so you know i've had a rare night of 4 or 5 hours of sleep I, i'm kind of afraid because i'm in such tremendous pain right now and it worries me and the thought crossed my mind if this is all you know, I have copies of my MRI, my brain MRIs, and I have brain stem and cerebellum compression. If this is all, you know, Chiari malformation and, and brain stem compression and all of this breathing stuff, the low oxygen, something, all this, this pain in my chest and everything, if all of this, and even the apnea, if all, if all of this is brainstem compression and cerebellum compression, then all of this is, is for nothing. It's all been a waste of time. Me begging and screaming and seeing tons of specialists and making noise on here and making noise on Facebook. It's all been, you know, an exercise in futility. And then, you know, like there's loads of things, possibilities, like, for example, it could be inflammation of, of the spine, of the brain and everything from the benzo withdrawal. My feet, internally, everything just was inflamed from the benzo withdrawal. I do believe my, it injured my heart. And that's been just very, very, very slowly getting better like i'd say at the two year almost at the two year mark which is just like right now it's just slowly starting to get better and it felt bad the other night so um the people with chiari do pass away during the night so And I'm in tremendous, tremendous stress and pain uh, all the way up the neck. The, the n neck hurts so bad. The spine hurts so bad. I don't understand why. And, and uh, there's something wrong with my breathing. I had a good day today. I had a few hours of sleep. I had a good day. Po I felt positive. I do feel positive, but there is so much pain and there's something wrong in here that started with the benzo withdrawal, but it, you know, if it's all brain related, then I wanted to do this video just in case anything happens to me. I don't know why I would be in such pain 
today. It's very worrisome having spine and neck stuff happening and not have anyone to talk to about it, like not having a specialist to see. I think I need a new family doctor because I don't think that they're fighting for me. They're giving me loads of referrals. I don't feel, though, that anyone's fighting for me and on top of things and calling me back. And as far as I'm concerned, after that business that happened a few weeks ago, I don't know even if I have a family doctor anymore. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to make this video in case something bizarre happens. Because people do, with Chiari, do pass away during the night. And if that ever did happen, then clearly I wasn't getting the help I needed, right? And these videos will be around to show how hard I fought to get help. Sometimes bad things happen when people, patients are profiled and minimized and dismissed and told they're crazy, and told that they're delusional. Whatever's happening to me, the pain's getting worse, and it's shooting down my arms. The whole spine hurts now and up the neck, so... Hopefully, things are getting better. Sometimes things hurt when they're getting better, and hopefully I'll get as much sleep as I did last night, so... Good night.